Hello everybody, this is the Starving Martian and today we're beginning our look at Mars Attacks Occupation. Alright, been looking forward to this one. It's an excellent Mars Attacks card series. It follows right up on the heels of Mars Attacks Invasion. So if you missed that um, look at that uh, card series, just click on my name, Starving Martian. Find my playlist of uh, Mars Attacks trading cards. It'll be right there along with all the other Mars Attacks trading card sets that I've covered. We've been going through them more or less chronologically. And uh, so now we are up to uh, 2015 when Mars Attacks um, Occupation was released. Um, as far as the storyline goes of Mars Attacks Occupation, like I said, it follows immediately after Mars Attacks Invasion. Mars has successfully invaded and conquered the Earth. Um, human resistance kind of built up partway through there, but was squashed, and, um, and so now all of Earth lives under Martian occupation, hence the title. We're not going to get too deep into the story of Mars Attacks Occupation, because to read all these cards would take forever, and uh, plus, you know, I don't want to give you guys everything these cards have to offer. I'm showing you the pictures, I'm giving you a brief description, but really, what I'd like is... To, to entice you to go out and purchase a set of these for yourselves. If you like what you're seeing, this is a card set I highly recommend you pick up. Uh, I don't want to steal all of Topps' thunder. They uh, did the art, they did the story, they, they deserve some profit. So go ahead, support them by your own set. But, um, but please stick with us through uh, this look at the cards. Um, there's actually a brief description given on the back of card number 46, just like um, Mars Attacks uh, Invasion. The first half or so of the card set is a storyline, and then the rest of it takes a look at the comics and, and other aspects of Mars Attacks. So card 46 gives us a brief synopsis. It says, uh, A new era of Mars Attacks has begun. After the invasion ended, the Martians claimed total dominion over planet Earth. As survivors emerge from the devastation, the Martians begin to rebuild Earth's infrastructure for their own ends. Much of the human population returned to a semblance of normal life. Some were herded into refugee camps. More were imprisoned and tortured. Robot drones ruled the streets while Martians committed daily atrocities. The occupation of Earth has begun. The only question is, can the human race survive long enough to rise up and stop it? So that's about where we are. At the, um, the beginning of the card set where we're looking at right now. So on each card in the Mars Attacks Occupation, you get a beautiful painted uh, picture. And then on the back of the card, you get your story blurb. You get the title of your card, which in this case is Earth Occupied. And like with most Mars Attacks card sets, you get a little picture on the bottom showing you what the next card in the series will be. So... That's um, Earth Occupied. Our next card was called Biker Men from Mars. Okay, an obvious, obvious play on Biker Mice from Mars. If you ever seen the uh, cartoon, played the video game. Got here going Flame On. Our next card is card uh, three, Home Room Horror. Where you can see the uh, Earth kids are being indoctrinated by the Martians to believe as they want them to believe, to think as they want them to think. And uh, if you don't think that's currently going on, that's, well, that's a whole new other issue we will not get into. Murder at Midnight, our next card. It's a nice full moon in the background. Yeah, the Martians are still grabbing them Earth girls. And um, it's usually best to, to let them be, because otherwise you end up with that old uh, burning flesh syndrome. Next up is a card called Death of a Salesman. Obviously named after the um, book of the same name, a play actually. I read it in book form in high school. We are forced to read Death of a Salesman. And it's one of those things where, like, um, spoiler alert, um, the salesman dies at the end. 
Anyway, Blood Bowl. And uh, unintentionally, but I'm actually um, recording this. It won't be posted yet, but I'm actually recording this on Super Bowl Sunday. So uh, there you go. I'll probably be posting it tomorrow. Uh, saucer Sweeps. Let's see the flying saucers picking off a pe couple people here and there. Ah, oh, you look like you'll do. And uh, Blood and Circuses is up next. So, um, yeah, we have here a, a game the Martians have apparently invented, which involves tying people to street poles and uh, throwing big spiky energy balls at them. That sounds like fun. Our next card is called Draining the Earth. And look, uh, there's Harvey Dent. Next up is Taking a Dog. Taking a Dog. Eh, I still prefer destroying a dog. Not that I have anything against dogs, my you, it's just the Martian tradition by now. Next up is one called Occupational Hazard. Uh, people have been forced to work in some rather OSHA unfriendly conditions. Card 12, Robot Raid. That guy looks happy to be having his brain blown out of the other side of his head. It's like the Martians set their death rate to like Fatal Tickle or something. Next up is Backyard Barbecue. And for those of you who like to see the elderly getting threatened at knife point, here you go. Oh, plus your sick SOBs, just so you know. Yeah, monster. Earthly Experiments is up next. And the Mars Attacks fascination with the scantily clad continues. While this Martian scientist appears to be about to inject them with Echo Cooler. So, anyhow. The Collaborators. See some humans willing to turn in other humans for their Martian masters for uh, better positions. Uh, some bit of leisure, perhaps, or, or uh, element of safety. Seldom works out best for them in the end. Next up is Hot Off the Press. Where we learn that Martians are our friends and protectors. It says News. The uh, most generically named newspaper I've ever seen. Just News. Girl Intercepted. That's the title of this one here. And again, we have a guy being all indignant in the background and getting himself fried for it. And this lady here, I I swear she's designed off of an actress. I, I, I swear I've seen that face somewhere before. Yes, I am looking at her face. Uh, I just can't place it. You guys any, have any idea? Does that remind you of somebody? Let me know. Next up is the enemy within so um just like the collaborators we see um some earthlings have found ways to get extra bit of um uh, of, of leisure uh extra uh perks shall we say like giving the martians um well extra perks so we got a couple bathing beauties here with i love mars tattoos one wonders if the Martians can even read that. I do also wonder about the guy in the background, that Martian there with the, like, laser eye monocle. Now, it's, it's on the other eye. 
But the first time I've ever seen this in Mars Attacks was way back in the um, little uh, Mars Attacks from Pocket Comics. This is a character named um, Demos. There he is there. And I wonder if that was a nod to that, if that was the inspiration for him or not. That's hard to say. But um, if you want to find out more about those comics, of course, that was actually my very first video I ever did on this channel. Uh, back when my camera was even cheaper. So I'll go ahead and check that out. It'll be on my uh, Mars Attacks the Comics. Alright. Gladiator Games is up next. So our giant mutant insect friends haven't gone away. That's nice to know. Executing an executive. Generally speaking, you don't want that much lightning coming out of your eye sockets. And the next one is called the Omega Syndicate. Ew, I can see his pelvic bone. And Monster Hunters is our next card. Yeah, hunting monsters or using monsters too hunt. Uh, these monsters, by the way, were used to be human beings. They're genetically modified. And um, I guess I think these ones were. I know there are man monsters. This, these look rather much larger. But, uh, but either way, they were made by the Martians. Pain at the Pump. Our next card. And the Great Escape. See a former boxing champion. Um, and um, when I mentioned that, that the story of the cards, that we weren't going to get too deep into it, um, there was also at the same time a comic book miniseries called Mars Attacks Occupation. It doesn't follow the whole story of the cards, but it does follow some of the side characters, including this guy here. So you get a little hint about uh, who he is through the cards. But uh, for his full story, you'd have to check out the Mars Attacks Occupation comic book miniseries put out by IDW. The Novus Vira Prepares. We've encountered them before. Um, they are a Martian resistance uh, group. They uh, want to take back the Earth for Earthlings. And our next one is called Mutant Mind Slaves. I really, really got a kick out of this card when I found it. Because um, although he's not called a Payek, um, this is clearly a nod to that subspecies, that subrace of Martians from back in the um, Mars Attacks Tops comics days. Um, so they kept the same design. Just give him a different uh, backstory here, but um, but yeah, so they haven't uh, completely gone away. So it's nice that um, they keep things fresh while still um, nodding to uh, what's gone before. You know, a lot of Mars Attacks merchandise wants to be nostalgic for the um, original 1962 card set, and I can understand why. It's an excellent card set, a great way to get the ball rolling. But it's nice to see that they haven't completely ignored um, their later history as well. That um, these particular uh, aliens who were prevalent in the 90s are still being remembered and still pop up now and then. But um, that's going to wrap it up for about now. We will continue in part two when we finish up the story cards. And then in part three we will tackle the uh, rest of the series. Hope you guys stick through for the entirety of Mars Attacks Occupation. This has been the Starving Martian, everybody. I uh, hope you're having a good time. I certainly am. Catch you later, but keep watching the sky.